वेलकम बैक टू आर यूट्यूब क्लास माई बॉयज गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू टूडे वी शेल वॉक आउट द कम्प्रीहेंशन एक्सरसाइज ऑफ यूनिट टू ये स्टडी वी कम्प्लीटेड रीडिंग यूनिट टू एंड टूडे इट्स आवर ड्यूटी टू वॉक आउट द एक्सरसाइज द एक्टिविटीज क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर दैट इज द एम सी क्यू टेस्ट फोर ए the cat rubs himself against the legs of the family members and noisily purrs that is option number 1 question number b with tears of rage and pain in his eyes the guest affects to be very much amused that is also option number 1 question number c the guest hands down the cat a bit of fish option number 3 now question number 5 filling in chart with information from the text such questions always bear one marks each and you have to just provide the information no complete sentence is required in such cases 5a the guest calls the cat poor pussy only this phrase is enough poor pussy question number b part of the guest's body that the cat wrecks the leg the phrase is enough i am saying again question number c the thing from which the cat stays at a safe distance the guest's boot the guest's boot okay now question number 6 and here you have to answer in complete sentence you have to answer each question in a complete sentence uh, because such questions always bear two marks each and you have to answer such questions in complete sentence in one or two complete sentences okay let's start 6a when does the cat make an appearance to get his share of food when does the cat make an appearance to get his share of food i am now telling the answer when the family sits down to tea when the family sits down to tea the cat makes an appearance to get his share of food i am repeating when the family sits down to tea the cat makes an appearance to get his share of food now question number b who is the cat particularly civil to very easy question who is the cat particularly civil to the cat is particularly civil to a guest who is incidentally present at the tea table the cat is particularly civil to a guest who is incidentally present at the tea table now question number c how does the cat receive the bit of fish handed down by the guest the cat receives the bit of fish handed down by the guest very gingerly with an attitude to teach the guest a lesson i am repeating the cat receives the bit of fish handed down by the guest very gingerly you may complete your answer here you may finish your answer here that is also correct answer but you may continue uh, with an attitude to teach the guest a lesson okay so we have come to an end to the question answer session we have worked out the exercise of unit 2 now let's start reading unit 3 the text has taken a very interesting shape now a very interesting form we have come to a very interesting point um now after the tea what will happen we have 
yet to learn the evening activities of the cat for which the author tells the cat the the author calls the cat a very grim fighter so now we will go to learn we will continue our reading to learn the actual nature of the cat okay let's start reading unit 3 when the family has finished tea and gathers round the fire after having finished the tea the family members sit together round the fire because it is a cold country and it is a habitual practice of such people of the people in such countries to sit round the fire in the evening after tea so the family after having their tea gathers round the fire what does the cat do then the cat does not sit by the fire with other family members if it were a dog if it were a dog it would sit with other family members near the fire and uh, try to be accompanied by its masters but it is cat i have told you repeatedly that it is cat absolutely different from dog in all aspects so when the family member sits sit around the fire gathers round the gather round the fire the cat casually goes out of the room the cat does not stay stay in the room any longer now it is in search of its own business it casually very casually and silently without being noticed by anybody goes out of the room shakoler alokkhe tuk kore ghor theke beriye chole gelo beral ta shobai jokhon cha khie aguner dhare bosheche ektu ga gorom kore nebar jonno dinner porjonto okhane boshe goppo gacha korbe beral tokhon tar nijer dhandaye beriye porlo he is no longer a member of that family he has now going he is now going to have his own time and to spend the time in his own way isn't it she even nijer moto kore shomoy katabe he cares for nobody true life now begins for him now we shall find the cat in its true form in its true appearance now the true life of the cat begins what will he do what will the cat do he saunters down his own backyard in those days people would have a backyard in their house because uh, places were in plenty then in those times in the earlier days uh, say something 50 uh, 60 years before and in australia it is still a practice because they have uh, much amount of land isn't it it's a uh, big country in fact it's a continent and with a very little population so they have enough space to have a front garden with a backyard okay so the house where cat lives with the family members in every house in fact there is a backyard so the cat saunters down his own backyard the cat saunters means walks casually walks slowly and casually the cat slowly casually walks to the backyard the backyard is not a favorite place of the inmates of the house but it's a very favorite place to the cat cat prefers staying there and spending his own time there he saunters down his own backyard he just goes to the backyard with slow pace 
springs to the top of the fence then he jumps on the top of the boundary wall fence means beda ekhane boundary wall dhorte parish drops lightly lightly down to the other side drops lightly down to the other side and after springing up the fence he just jumps on the other side of the fence very lightly you know cats have the ability to go to walk to run to jump very softly without being noticed by anybody they have the ability like the tiger perhaps you have uh, heard stories about the tiger how it hunts how it kills the uh, people in sundarbans and in other forests it is always uh, very uh, very invisible you cannot find it uh, till the last time till the final time so so also the cat it has the legacy of a tiger okay and that is why he drops he has the ability to drop very lightly to the other end of the fence other side of the fence he trots across trots try to understand the word trots of course it is a verb you can understand very well trot means proceed um or cause to proceed proceed or cause to proceed at a pace faster than a walk faster than a walk okay bisheshoto chotushpad pranir khetre trots kotha ta khubi byabohrito hoy uh with uh, in case of the animals having four legs such terms such term trot is often used byapar ta ki ei chotushpad prani ra jokhon hatar je goti ta tar che ektu beshi goti te hate ektu doronor moto kore hate niyeder pa gulo ke diagonally ek ek ektar por ekta tule ebong phele hatar che ektu jore chole মানে হাঁটা আর দৌড়নো জোরে দৌড়নোর মাঝে মাঝে যে অবস্থাটা সেটাকে বলে ট্রট করা আর মানুষের ক্ষেত্রে ট্রট বলতে বোঝায় রান একটা মডারেট স্পিড মোটামুটি গতিতে দৌড়ে যাওয়া এরকম ক্ষেত্রে আমরা ট্রট বলবো ওকে সো ট্রট মিনস ইউ মে নোট ট্রট মিনস প্রসিড or cause to proceed at a pace faster than a walk lifting each diagonal pair of legs alternately and this can be used in case of this can be used this meaning can be used in case of quadruped chotushpad praniter khetre eta cholbe ar manusher khetre hole trot means run at a moderate speed with short steps it is the meaning in case of human beings okay he trots he just the cat just runs moderately just runs uh, walk um, uh, paces proceeds at a pace faster than walk okay across he the cat uh, crosses the area after jumping over the wall um, very moderate speed at a very moderate speed and skips to the roof of an empty shed and then it jumps to the roof of an empty shed there might be a shed which is empty which has nothing nobody lives there nothing is kept uh, in the shed and he jumps on the roof of the empty shed his movement becomes light and panther light light just try to understand the meaning of this word light means supple or graceful supple or graceful khub nomoniyo sharir niye khub obhijato bhongite jodi keu hata chola kore 
দ্য বাঘের যে ভঙ্গিটা বাঘকে কোনো ছবিতে হাঁটতে দেখলে যে ভঙ্গিটা দেখবি হোয়েন এভার ইউ সি আ টাইগার ওয়াকিং দিস ইজ আ লাইট অ্যাটিটিউড লাইট মুভমেন্ট ওকে সো হিজ মুভমেন্ট বিকামস লাইট অ্যান্ড প্যান্থ লাইক হি ইজ গ্রেসফুল ইন হিজ মুভমেন্ট অ্যান্ড হি লুকস লাইক আ প্যান্থ হোয়েন হি জাম্পস অন দ্য রুফ অফ অ্যান এম টু শেড হি লুকস কিনলি ফ্রম সাইড টু সাইড হি লুকস কিনলি ইগারলি কিনলি মিন্স ইগারলি সাগ্রহে উইথ ইন্টেন্স কনসেনট্রেশন হি লুকস কিনলি ফ্রম সাইড টু সাইড অ্যান্ড মুভস নয়েসলেসলি অ্যান্ড হোয়েন দ্য ক্যাট ইজ ওয়াকিং on the roof and also in the place he walks very keenly he has the eagerness to meet uh, some of his friends or companions but he is very alert also from side to side he looks very in a very curious way from one side to another why why is his, is he uh, looks from side to side why does he look from side to side why is he looking from side to side because for here for means because because he has so many enemies because cat though he is a grim fighter he has many enemies cat is not at all a timid creature a creature who is timid seldom has enemies but a fighter always has enemies a fighter is bound to have enemies isn't it so the cat has many enemies who are his enemies dogs and small boys with stones dogs is dogs are always his enemies dogs though i am not sure whether uh, dogs are able to fight the cats i am not sure i often see i have often seen that uh, dogs are just being bitten by the cats with uh, its claws and just retreats i have often seen it perhaps you have also uh, but we know dogs are the enemies of cats so there might be some dogs and more dangerous there are small boys the boys like you uh, small boys who might throw stones at them and they might be hurt by the stones that is why they are very alert they are very alert of their dangers and they are always very keen on saving themselves the cat is very keen on saving himself from his enemies from the perils that can be caused by the enemies like dogs and the little boys with stones in hands okay so we have completed reading the first paragraph of unit 3 and tomorrow we shall uh, read we shall go through the remaining part of the text and after that we shall walk out the exercise so good vibe for today my students